Senior Leadership and Management Masterclasses to influence your output, growth, change and culture. This is where you sell. You are selling the outcome to the delegacy. They have got to embrace it. It's no good them sitting there listening to you del deliver or give, depending on your delegation style. Are you going to tell? Are you going to ask? Are you going to listen? Let's say you are the telling, giving directives to the delegacy. They sit there and they listen to everything you've got to say about the outcome. All right? It's just Stan Laurel now. And they just think, hmm, okay then, all right, fine, I'll go away and do it. They're not motivated, motivated. they're not driven. They haven't bought into your project. They don't really want to do it. You haven't sold it. So you've just got people now that are compliant. They just do it. There's no passion, there's no enthusiasm, they just get it done. Is it, you got any people like that? Any managers that work for you like that? You want more than just compliance. You want someone that just grabs, um, grabs the bull by the horns and runs with it. Um, when they own it, they treat it as their baby, which is the opposite of what we do when we are resistant to delegating. When it becomes our baby and we can't let go, we want them to own it and say it's mine, and I, meaning they're going to get a hell of a lot of personal satisfaction from the accomplishment of the task. That's in, you want them to have personal satisfaction because what else? What else are we considering long term? Well, well it's, it's their job, yeah. They're, 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 if they're not satisfied in their job, then mm -hmm. they'll go and do something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, how do we sell it? Come on. I can just sit here and tell you all day, but it's late. How do you sell it? Yeah, look. Oh, don't, it's going to go around the room. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happens on That's every course at about four o'clock on a Friday? Okay. So how do we sell it? Enthusiasm. You sell it by that's, that's back to charisma to, again. Uh, want to do it? Try to get them to. Um, that's your outcome, correct? How do you get them to want to do it? Convince them. You convince them how? how what what, what so are we doing? The how do we sell it? There. Well, I was waiting for you to say it. The yes, I, 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 <laughs> normally, for me, is 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 I I I start that process. Say if it's from a a briefing point of view, I, I'll, I'll start some of that kind of dialogue with regards to the end result and how it can be and, and let them be invested in it creatively yeah. and, and then as soon as that happens, yes. they yes. then... Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're enthused. Yeah, good. That mm, it relates to something else Dale Carnegie said, I'll just t tell you anyway. Um, people buy into a world they help create, which is what you're referring to but not what I'm referring to, mm. but it links. I'm not asking you to get them involved in the creation or the creative process. I'm getting them to buy into the concept. Sometimes, I mean, we do this. I know you do it, and, and I certainly do. Sometimes it's about what is the value of it to the business and not just monetary. Sometimes it is about... They might say, I don't care. This. Okay, yeah. we've got to cut to the chase on this now. You're on, a, on your step number four. Enroll on this masterclass now to influence your output, growth, change and culture. Enroll now at nicholashill.com or call 0345 678 9900.